Hello my friends and welcome to today's tower reading. This is a general daily reading for all signs but the sign that you're here probably means that there is a special message for you so thank you so much for joining me today. So today is the 26th of November 2022 and it is a Saturday, the day of Saturn. Good colours to wear today are black, silver. Um, I do also find that wearing colours of the rainbow is also really good to wear today. And the stones and crystals that I like to work with in particular today is um, um, not snowflake obsidian, but uh, rainbow obsidian. So, yeah, really, really nice. Um, but otherwise, um, no major transits today. Just can't believe that we're like four days away from December. Um, how do you celebrate your um, holiday season? Uh, do you get into the spirit of Yule? Um, I really need to take more time in, in getting into that spirit of... Because um, I do. I used to love Christmas as a kid. And um, it's very much about the, the kind of build-up I found out over the last couple of years about how that sense of um, celebration kind of is only done by yourself so I've really made an effort to make sure that I have an amazing Christmas no matter what I do <laughs> even if I'm on my own I don't mind so um but otherwise um if you've got any ideas for any pick a cards or any readings that you'd like me to do to kind of um, help you through your transitions through to the end of the year let me know and if you'd like to go over something a little bit more personal, my um, you can reach out to me for a reading. Um, I'm also available there as well. Um, link is in the description box below. But anyway, with that being said, let's crack on with the reading. I'm reading with the um, Tower of the Divine. I'll be clarifying with the Chakra Oracle Wisdom cards. Let's see what they've got to say today. The spirit, what messages would you like to convey to the collective? The chariot reversed. The ten of wands reversed. Sometimes no movement is the best thing that you can do. Or even deciding not to take action on something, to walk away. Because you know that it's not really going to be something that's going to benefit you. Um, this Ten of Wands is so powerful. Um, the story behind it is a, um, a guy who's um, a village, uh, uh, the leader of a village. He loved his daughter so much. Um, and he didn't want her to, no, she, she was like a warrior princess and, um, he only wanted certain, um, he only wanted certain, like, it, 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 he tried to get only certain people, certain men to kind of go for her, to be married to her. He, he wanted a really good suitor for his girl, for his daughter. And, um... In the end, she ended up marrying someone that she didn't want, uh, that she, you know, that she wanted to, went away to the village and it was like a kind of promise that he was going to take care of her and then um, the village just disappeared and then he spent the whole, the father spent all the rest of his days looking for her and he could never find her so he died in that spot and then these plants came out of her, his head, that's why his skull is there and these flowers as well. So it's a really sad story to, to kind of know when to walk away, to know when to give up, to know that this is not your battle to fight. Seven of Cups. Maybe the idealizations that you have about the situation that you think that the reasons to stay, um, you know, the inability to be able to move on from this situation is going to be like, you know, you've got the, the scenarios. It's almost like you're painting the scenarios in your head already. Page of Cups. Yeah, there's a sense of idealization about it. You may think, oh, yeah, but there's just a non-committal energy to it. I also get from the Page of Cups that there may be a sense where you don't 
you, you're not in love with it anymore. You're not in love with the idea of being there. Or you don't see any kind of real potential of you being there. You can see the, the distractions more so, oh, not the distractions, the, the cons more than the pros at the moment. Knight of Swords. You're receiving a clear indicator to hightail it out of the situation or to make a decision. But what's interesting is that you, you're, you're, you can't make a decision immediately but because the chariot is reversed. So that means that you want to leave, but you can't. Or you want to make a move, but you can't. You're, you've got some kind of like constraints around the situation that's stopping you from wanting to move forward. Okay, well, the reason is, is because there's somebody who's very emotionally involved and they might get really upset if you make a wrong move. But you're not going to lose any sleep about it. You're kind of, you know, you're kind of done in the respect of, you know, it's almost like, well, I don't care anymore. I'm just going to do me now because if I continue to kind of pander to the needs of other people, then I'm just going to be stationary for the rest of my life or I'm going to be making decisions about, um, I'm going to be, I'm going to be living my life on the basis of what other people want. And I can't, um, I can't please everyone. I accept defeat about this situation and I accept that I can't, yeah, I can't please everyone. It's interesting, this King of Cups has come up several times, so it seems to me that this character is quite prevalent. So it may be somebody that's, yeah, influencing you greatly. And I've had a few of you put stories in the comments, which is just really interesting. So I've got like a lot of different scenarios that are flashing up in my head. Um, fathers, brothers, sons, bosses. It, could, it doesn't have to be male as well. It could be a female, but I'm just, you know, particularly just with the coveting of this pearl. These are my emotions. Don't, don't get in the way of my emotions. We all know someone like that, don't we? If it isn't ourselves, you know? If it's ourselves, then yeah, of course. I, I, I can totally attest to this character trait. Um, but uh, in the respect of this situation, I would liken this to like being in a, in a work situation and you can't leave, but you know that you have to. You know that it doesn't, it really hasn't got any scope for any um, kind of positive outcome long term it's more on a short term basis that you know you have to leave that's what i would say in a work situation in respect to a relationship situation i would say the same thing like it's the ideals it's the ideals that have been held that have held you there in that position for so long and that you've realized that you don't want to die in this space you don't want to li live in that space. You don't want to be there. Nine of swords, ten of wands, both reversed. There's a sense of realisation. But you can't move yet. But you want to. It may also not just be these, you know, this may be you and then this may be two people, you know. Um, it could also be um, father and children as well. But I think there's a sense of idealization that's going on. And also choices. There are choices that are presenting themselves. But sometimes the choices won't seem as obvious. And I just got a flash of... Um, you know um, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade? When um, Harrison Ford goes into the um, temple of... The temple where he goes to retrieve the, the chalice. The Holy Grail. And... He, he actually makes a reference to himself, one, being a carpenter, which I just think is really cool because 
you know, the whole thing about carpentry in that time. And also, well, the biblical times. And then also the idea of um, you, what you expect is the choice to make actually isn't the choice. It's actually the one that doesn't seem the most appealing because he goes for the most raggedy cup Whereas, like, and the most plainest cup, whereas, like, um, when the, uh, when the, uh, like, the German kind of Nazi officers come in and they pick the cup, they pick the most beautiful cup that looks, like, fresh out of the Vatican. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> just looks a bit. And then, yeah, that's not the right cup. It's the plain cup. So this says to me that the choice that seems the least appealing will actually be the most helpful. Minimise your choices. And also what I sense here from this defeat, it's, um, it's not a massive defeat. It's a small defeat. I actually see this here. This, uh, you know, the eagle and um, Ra in the background. So... Just because the body's been dismembered, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that everything is over. Um, it means that things have may have broken apart, but they haven't. They're still in a space of resurrection. There's still something that's going to happen. So it's not so much a period of stasis. It's more a period of waiting. You know what I mean? Like, it's almost like, like the anticipation. It's just like the action now is to wait. Does that make sense? So let's see what the chakra cards have to say. Expansion. Wow. And you've also got, I think that is, uh, that's throat chakra. Something tells me just one more. Oh, okay, you've got three more. So we've got expansion and we've got workaholic and then we've also got abundance. It's really interesting. We've got like, we've got some prunes here. They look like prunes. Are they prunes? What are they? What are those things? And then abundance, you've got all of these. So there's this sense of like, wow, mentality as well. Abundance mentality, which is connected with power. So yeah, this is so these two are about um Vishuddha chakra, the fifth chakra. And this is the solar plexus ch chakra. Interesting. Interesting. So let me just have a little look at what those I don't normally look at these cards, but I just I'm just curious about these pictures because each of these pictures have a have a meaning to them. Yeah, oh wow. Yeah, this is very interesting. It's about two blueberries that are painting. <laughs> and yeah, interesting. What are you waiting to complete your career before you live your life? Are you waiting to complete your career before you live your life? Busy work may be helping you hide from the real issues. That's what that says. Interesting. Um, and then you've got expansion. Just going to have a quick look because I think it's really interesting. Okay. Yeah, these these some of these stories are a bit out there, man. I just yeah. Okay, right. I'm no, I'm not gonna look at the book. <laughs> you know, when you're just like, <laughs> I don't need that. Spirit is trying to communicate with me directly. So what I get here is that an abundance mindset within the position that you are in already, um, and. It's about you being able to find expansion within that space without becoming dogged down in the workaholic kind of attitude, which initially I saw this as a as a reading for work, for something about you being in a work situation and you need to get you need to hightail it out there and you already know about it. But then, you know, it's just about biding your time and not fooling yourself. But you do have choices as well. I think you have, you, there are more choices than you think you have, but they're just a lot more, um, they're a lot less uh, sparkly, let's say. They're not so easy to see. That's what I'm getting. They're, uh, they're a little bit mundane, but, um, or a little bit hidden, in plain sight kind of thing. 
But anyway, my darlings, enough rambling. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did like this reading, please do like it. Please do subscribe for more videos. Also, do check out my other pick cards that I'm putting up. Um, if you've got any questions or anything like that, they're quite useful. Um, and let me know what you think. But otherwise, my darlings, you take care. I think I'm getting a bit, like, heady from all of this incense because I'm burning a lot of incense right now and I think I'm just a bit all over the place. So I'm sorry if the lack of focus was there. <laughs> um benzoin frankincense and damar is a lot anyway i will speak to you soon my darlings take care lots of love bye